I was making a full-time income when my channel had less than 5,000 subscribers. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Hello, everyone. Today we are joined by... Andrew Edwards. Hi, Andrew. And what is your channel? How many subscribers do you have? I am at YouTube.com slash GearLive. Also, YouTube.com slash Andrew Edwards. It's the same URL or same destination. Um, roughly 155,000 subscribers at this point. As you were growing your channel and becoming more experienced as a, I guess, video creator, what was the light bulb moment? When did you finally think, ah, I, I understand this to a certain extent? The way that I knew that YouTube as a platform worked for me the light bulb moment was really accepting the fact that it is a social platform. So originally, because I've been on YouTube since pretty much day one. Yep. Um, I've been making videos for about 14 years. I treated YouTube as file storage. It's free file storage. So I'd go to YouTube, I'd upload a video, I'd put in a title and description, and I would embed it into a blog post, and I would never go back to that video page again. I didn't, I didn't care who was commenting or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. And it took me roughly eight years. In fact, between when I started and eight years later, I had grown to only 14,000 subscribers because I never paid attention to the subscribers, I never talked to them. And then between year eight and year nine, I went from 14 to over 100, and that's simply by changing my approach. So realizing that it can be a two-way conversation and you can talk to people in the comments and yeah. they actually want to interact with you, that was the key. So YouTube is a community Correct. as much as anything else. Yes. What was the best YouTube decision you think you've made so far? The best YouTube decision I've made, interesting. I think the best YouTube decision I've made goes back to tip number three where it was don't limit myself to being a YouTuber. Okay. Um, I have made so many relationships with brands who find me on YouTube, but want me to do things aside from YouTube. Yeah. So if I didn't spend the amount of time that I spend building my YouTube, also building Instagram or Facebook, I'd be making a lot less revenue if I was only focused just on YouTube yeah. because some brands, you know, some brands have a YouTube budget and they have a Facebook budget yeah. and they have an Instagram budget. Yeah. And so if their YouTube budget is, you know, done for the year, I still have something to offer them. Whereas if you only focus on YouTube, you're out of luck. Let me put this question to you then about uh, revenue. Obviously, yeah. in, at the start of this year, we had the big changes to uh, the monetization. You need 4,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours yes. of watch time. A lot of people are still stuck in that situation mm -hmm. where they can't monetize their content. Yeah. And they tend to ignore like other revenue streams. Mm -hmm. If people were to maybe not consider AdSense as the primary source of income, yeah. where should they start first for different revenue streams on YouTube? Yeah, and you know what? I think uh, you kind of hit the nail on the head, and that's why I tell people not to get stuck with being a YouTuber yeah. for that very reason. I personally think AdSense is not that great. It's, to me, AdSense is a bonus. I can't even tell you what my AdSense income is because that's how little I pay attention to it because I pay attention to what works. And AdSense doesn't really work that much. So if you can't monetize, you're just not monetizing with AdSense. You can start making relationships with brands almost irregardless of the size of your channel. I was making a full-time income when my channel had less than 5,000 subscribers. Wow. Just by making a relationship with brands, having authority and knowledge about my niche, and communicating that with brands. That's number one. Number two, there's things like Patreon and others where if you have a great relationship with your audience, they want to see you succeed. They want to get your content. They want extra attention from you and you yeah. can get it that way so i would say you know almost forget about adsense if you can't get adsense don't worry about it there's plenty of other ways to monetize if you broaden how you look at things i think you just delivered the perfect video title i started making an income with five thousand there you go awesome right vidiq we're obviously an analytics company what's the analytic that gets you out of bed every morning what what do you look for most when you're you know what i like the most is the the uh the little scorecard it's like a little report card yeah. when you're when you're uploading your video and putting your tags in. Like yeah. I always try to hit. I think it's the max you can get is 40. Yeah. I always try to get as close to 40 as possible. Yeah. I want to get the uh, the triple the triple triple, triple keyword, keywords triple keywords yeah. and the double keyword and all that. I try to get all that done. I don't know when I see that that number turn green. Ding. I'm feeling good. Yeah. That is always my goal. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for your time, Andrew. Absolutely.